Now I love my Aorus X570 motherboard, in fact I've already made two videos gushing about how great it is. However, despite that, Aorus still decided to do a refresh of their X570 motherboards, despite them already being rather good, and they created the confusingly named Aorus X570S line of motherboards. Now don't be alarmed, these are just refreshes of the existing X570 boards, so if you already have an Aorus X570 board as well, congrats, you really don't have to upgrade unless you have nothing else to do with your money. No, these brand new boards are there to offer three major improvements to the original boards. Firstly, the biggest one that the Gigabyte advertised the most is that they switched over to passive cooling for the chipset. Thankfully, we're going down to Planet Sensible and returning to passive cooling on a chipset. So that weird period of computer hardware history will probably just be forgotten and filed right alongside a time when PCs looked like this. Yeah, what on earth did we think back then? Now, for the most part, it seems that people didn't have too much issue with the active cooling solution on Gigabyte's motherboard, and I know that I didn't have any issues with the fan on my chipset cooling, but who knows? But it was still something that made many people uneasy, so for those people, congrats, your paranoia can now be put to rest. But that's not the only thing that these motherboards are improving on, because they also have two other key features to them. Number one is improved power delivery, and also number two is improved compatibility with Ryzen 5000 CPUs. This means that these motherboards will be compatible right out of the box with even the most recent Ryzen 5000 CPUs and even the latest memory, with all the latest BIOS goodness as well thrown in there. So no more having to upgrade the BIOS or anything like that, it's all just ready for you, which is awesome to see. So yes, like I said, it's pretty much just a refresh and definitely not worth getting if you already have a good and reliable X570 motherboard, especially if you already have a Aorus X570 motherboard. But if you're just getting into X570, then totally go for these instead of going for one of the previous X570 boards from Gigabyte. So my personal recommendation would probably just be to not go X570 altogether. In fact, don't buy any motherboard right now and instead just wait until AMD's next gen CPUs launch sometime next year. And those will come with a whole new socket, a DDR5 memory, and who knows what other changes. So I'd just save your money for that craziness instead. But if you really have to spend your money on something until that time, then hey, maybe spend it over on my Patreon, which is going to be down in the video description below. Because even $1 a month goes a long way in helping out this channel, and allows me to make way, way better videos. And also, it ensures that you and others get tons of more entertainment and information out of this channel. So you're doing both yourself and others a huge, huge favour by even just giving a single, singular dollar each month. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, OK B, Meg Sumner, Blake Derake, Shane Allcroft and Lance B. Thank you guys so so much, support truly goes a long way. Down there you're also going to find our Amazon Associates links if you want to buy these motherboards yourself. Plus down there's also our Discord server if you want to talk to me or others about this or whatever else really. Plus down there's our social media links as well. But anyway that's it it's so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did then remember to subscribe, like whatever and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, goodbye.